What is an instance variable in Python? Well, an instance variable is essentially a variable that belongs to a class instance and is unique to that class instance. So that's basically the definition. Now let's show you what that looks like in code. So now that we know what our definition of an instance variable is, we can essentially create that by using or by essentially creating a class. Now I'm just gonna create like a simple, um, like let's just say person class, right? So I can say person and then we give it this syntax and then this is kind of where the instance variable comes into play. So oftentimes when you have your class, um, you have the init variable or the the constructor or the um, initialization function init. Now this is where the instance stuff comes in the variable. So like I mentioned, it's a an instance variable is a variable that belongs to a class instance and is unique to that class. And what that means is essentially I can pass something into this class when I create it to give it like a unique meaning. For example. Um, if I were to, if I wanted to give the person a name, I would have to pass the name in. And so what we can do is I can essentially say something like name, and then we create this variable called using self and then dot name is equal to name. Now what this does is this creates this instant variable called name. So that anytime we create an object called person and we pass in the name um, like this, so we'll say uh, cur person is equal to person and I say, Jim. Now what this allows us to do is I can call the instance variable per dot name just like that. And if I were to print this out, essentially you should see that it, it prints out Jim. Um, so if I print this out and then we'll put this in an F string so that you can see kind of that it, that's the function that's calling it or that's the variable that's calling it. Just like that. So if I run this, you should see the cur person dot name that that variable is going to equal to Jim. And um, the nice thing here is if I were to go and create another person, and now granted I could create a, I'm gonna do person two. Um, I can create a new person called Jane, Jane, and I print this out and now I'll see Jim and Jane that get printed out for person one and person two. But the nice thing is, is this, if I go to go change cur person's name value, it's not gonna change that of the second person. So for example, I could say something like, Cur person is or dot name is equal to Jimmy because now we want to go by the nickname I guess and we're just going to print this out again but I'm also going to print out whoops also going to print out the the second person and show you that the names don't change um, and let me just something here we'll just modify this. So now if I run this, what you should see is here's our you know first version when we first created that object, when we initialized that, that class and created that class, uh, created that object with, of that class person, we get Jim, Jane, and then we go through, um, we, we print out those, in, uh, those instance variables, and then we're going to modify one instance variable for the name for the first person and show you that it shouldn't change. So when I run this, you'll see that. Jim and Jane, and I bring my, my line breakpoint, that's what this print statement's doing. And then essentially we see that we changed it there to Jimmy and we reprinted everything out and it only changed the first person, right? And that's because like I mentioned, the var the variable value for that instance, or for, for say our person one, it only belongs and it's unique to that instance. So I can go and modify all the stuff for that variable of name for that person or any other instance variable that we could create. Cause also we could come in here, create another one. We could say self.age is equal to, and then I could pass another age value in. And now they have to put in the age. Um, or I can just, or I can hard code it to always say like, oh, this person is 10 or this person is 30 or whatever the case may be. Um, and then we could also print those out as well. But when I modify them, like if I modify person one's name or their age, it's only going to belong and be unique to that, that instance or that object of that class. And so that way I can change any or do anything I need and it's not gonna ch change any of our other ones. So that's essentially what an instance variable is. Again, it is basically a variable that is uh, belongs to an instance of a class and it's unique to that class, meaning that um, there's only one variable called name inside of that uh, class um, and whatnot. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And until next time, keep on programming.